Hi. Hey. Testing, testing. One, two, three, I hope. Hey. Hey. The microphone's working. Uh, I've got some of my pictures going on the slide showing the side there. So, check them out. Hey. Um, I find that doing photography is a good thing for me. Helps me to be creative. Uh, eases my tics, gives me respite. It's funny because when I'm doing other things, daily things, I've got to fight the tics. Uh, if I need to hold my tics in, which is my choice to do it, uh, for instance, when I'm in banks, <clears throat> woo, hey, uh, my, I want to, my tics are like, armed robbery, <clears throat> same as petrol stations. So I suppress them tics so as not to get arrested or Shoot him! No! Woo, 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 woo. Anyway, uh, and I use that suppression. Uh, so, like, uh, my daily struggle is uh, suppressing my tics, holding my tics in. So, when I come home, I'm like, boom! Hey, they all explode. And it has a physical. Uh, <clears throat> I'm physically tired and also mentally tired. And it's the same for our kids at school. Uh, you know, they're under pressure, even though some somebody might not say, Shut up or be quiet, stop doing that. Uh, our kids are pretty self conscious about making noises and different things, and they know that ticks can be disruptive and they try their best to, for them not to be. They don't want to stand out, they don't want ridicule, they don't want mocking. Uh, and I just think they get, they get a bit of a hard time as an adult myself. If anybody pulls me up about my Tourette's, hey, I can explain it. Uh, ruff, ruff, ruff. And even when people challenge me and say, listen, that wasn't a tick, I'm like, fuck. <laughs> I'm like, well, what do you know? <laughs> hey, and I can argue the toss, whereas as a youngster, uh, you're in a more difficult position. Uh, so I think by going into schools, which I know myself and quite a few of my colleagues, uh, friends in the Tourette's community do, uh, we want to make things easier. I don't want anybody to... Uh, have to go through what I went through at school. Uh, even though my tics didn't come out to this degree until I was 46, I've, I know now I've lived my life with Tourette's syndrome and with mild tics. Not mild Tourette's, by the way, but I'm just saying mild tics, as in little sniffs and <clears throat> an annoying like <clears throat> blinking, rolling my eyes, stretching my neck. Hey! <whistles> hey! And uh, I found that we're always getting, you're always getting in bother, uh, you're being disruptive. Uh, and in this day and age, you know, every child's entitled to a good education and a fair education as much as anybody else. Uh, so why should kids with Tourette's uh, get a raw deal? You know, be put in isolation. Uh, and there's simple steps that can be put in place, you know, uh, and, that, and that's just, <clears throat> woo, woo, woo. I think understanding your condition, uh, helping children to and younger ones to understand the condition and uh, how it manifests itself personally to them uh, and th then they can manage, they, they could ask for specific help uh, but also they need, there's a need there to go and talk to the teachers and I think <coughs> bollocks, hey, by us doing that and showing them how Tourette's affects us as an adult in our daily life. Uh, I've started doing a new thing where I, I'm using the uh, the documentary I made for Swedish TV and I'm taking that in with me now to schools and I'm playing that, explaining how I come about making the documentary but hey, fuck off! <clears throat> roo, roo, roo. Playing that because it's basically a day in the life of what I have to do. Uh, so from like getting dressed to going out and coming back in around my children and it ans it answers far more questions than I could possibly uh, educates more far more than I could actually talk about and I'd probably forget as well uh, so and then after that I just put it to a QA and a and and it's amazing the response I've, I've done it twice now uh, to teachers and also to a uh, the National Autistic Society in Northumberland and I've got fantastic feedback uh, and I think it's great that see making these documentaries you know you can get accused of a lot of things like you, you, you want in fame and stuff and they're not they're not pleasurable things to do they're pretty intrusive they create a lot of anxiety 
and uh, also you get you can you know not all the feedback afterwards is good so uh, you know a big round of applause to people <laughs> wankers hey who put themselves out to do that and I know there's a few people out there who do that families and uh, good on them and we want to get to a state well I I, I want what what do I want there's not well there's no cure huh. bollocks there's no specific medication uh, and everybody seems to want to shut us up like the ticks are the worst thing um, <laughs> anyway I, but I, I want to spread awareness because I think you spread positive awareness uh, and then everybody knows about threats you know the stigma gets brought down that it's all about swearing which it's not all about swearing and there's a, a small percentage of us uh, officially written well not officially but written down as five to ten ten percent but unofficially maybe you know maybe up to 25 percent of us have copra uh, copra lalia which is the swearing tick uh, ah, fuck off bastard hey anyway so i want it to get to the stage personally where when we we walk into a room we we will create attention people will look around when they hear us tick but they will just think, oh, that's somebody with Tourette's. Like, I'm likening it to somebody maybe in a wheelchair who comes in. People might look around and notice that the person's in a wheelchair. And then that's it. They'll carry on doing what they're doing. Uh, not look at them, stare at them, you know, ridicule and mock them. Uh, because this with Tourette's, when you walk in, we're fully aware that, you know, of our tics. And we're like, mm, try and keep these ticks in, but woof, they come out, people look round, people react. There's a lot of negative attention, which creates, woof, fuck, that's my mum, creates anxiety, uh, which makes the ticks worse. So if we could get to that stage where people, like in a wheelchair, can come in and people recognise that there, there's a disability, uh, be the same with us, and just let us go on our merry way, and acceptance, you know, uh -uh, get to... So, uh, hopefully I'm in a school next week, uh, if that comes off, talking about Tourette's Syndrome. Uh, and then John and myself have got a, a big gig coming up, can't say anything about it till after. Hey! But this is the reason why I'm recording this now, just because I want to give it a trial run. Uh, how big are your teeth? Tits, that's the one. Hey! Uh, so, yeah, if anybody's watching this and they want us to come and do a talk, well, raise awareness. Or put fifteen million pound in my bank, lad. Thank you very much. Woo, woo, woo. That were a tick, by the way, but you know, hey, hey. But I wish I could win the lottery. Uh, yeah, if anybody's watching this and and wants us to, or got anything for us to do, uh, to raise awareness, positive awareness, then I'm more than happy to to help. Uh, I personally say a lot of funny ticks. Well, I'll get people laughing. <laughs> it might not be funny. It might just be like, hey. Anyway, I don't mind showing my humour behind some of the ticks. Uh, and there's a big difference between laughing at somebody and laughing with somebody. Like, for instance, I get really bad contorting ticks. Huh. Uh, and they stop me from walking. And that just wouldn't be appropriate to, to laugh at that. But when somebody comes in and, sh and starts shouting funny ticks out, uh, some of the ticks are funny. I've, first time I've heard them, and I'll, I'll I'll laugh. So that's me personally. I don't mind sharing the humour behind my my vocal ticks, uh, and I appreciate everybody's support on YouTube. And I think I've said enough. Hey, what's for dinner? What, what, what beautiful photographs there? Eh? I wonder who's took them. Me, ha, row, row, row.